Welcome to our webinar on how to create your own group price windows. In the top hand corner of this screen you'll notice a number of what we call single price windows, which are handy to quickly see the current bid and offer prices being offered on certain financial instruments. But sometimes instead of taking up a large amount of room on our workspace, we can group these instruments together in what we call a group price window, such as these UK sectors down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Ok, so how do we go about bringing these group price windows up? And secondly, how do we go about creating our own group, such as a watch list or a favourites group, that has the information and the financial instruments that we want to see? Alright, what we need to firstly do is go up to our instruments tree. So simply click on the instruments tree. I'll just reset that instruments tree. And it then brings up our CFD and foreign exchange. Alright, so first of all, let's bring up a group price window that is currently in the system. So a couple of options are that you could bring up a group price window on just the UK sectors. To do this, simply go down to the CFD UK sectors tab, right click on the heading and then click on the group price window. And that will populate with the group price window that we saw earlier in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. We can also do that let's say on commodities, so let's say we're interested more in the crude oil bets, again right click and then click on a group price window and it will populate into our workspace. You'll notice there that it's currently showing us the UK and US crude oil bets for the August, June and July periods and the current bid and offer prices being offered. The other option is to create your own. To create your own we have a section down the bottom of the instruments tree called favourites. If you simply right click on the heading of favourites you can create a new favourites group. All we then need to do is create a name for it. So let's say we call this a watch list. Click on return. We've now created a folder that we can add financial instruments into to create our own individual group price window. At the moment there's nothing in the watch list. So what we need to do is find the instruments we want to add and then right click on that instrument and add it into our favourites group. Firstly we can do that from the instruments that are already on our workspace. So for example if we wanted to add the UK100, simply right click on the UK100 and then add instrument to favourites and then click on the watch list that we've just created. If we now go back into our favourites tab down the bottom, you'll notice that the UK100 index has now been added to that folder. The other option is you can find the instrument within the search function. So if we for example look up BMW, if we right click on that instrument, again add that instrument to favourites, add it to our watch list, you'll now notice down the bottom that we both have BMW and also the UK100 index. It doesn't have to be just indices or a particular equity, we can also use foreign exchange pairs. Again, simply right click on the spot price, add instrument to favourites and then add it to our watch list. Alright, now that we've added a few instruments, how do we go about bringing up the group price window? Well, quite simply, the same way that we brought up the UK sector group price window is we simply right click on the heading and then click on group price window. And then it will populate in our workspace on the right hand side. So you can see we've currently got the bid, the offer and the last time that that instrument was updated. Let's say a friend rings up and you, he gives you advice on a particular instrument, you want to add that to your watch list. Again, simply find that particular stock, so let's say he was looking at RBS. Right click on RBS, add instruments to favourites and put it in your watch list. It will automatically add to our watch list section down the bottom in the favourites tab, but also it will automatically populate into our watch list in our workspace. And you can see now instead of just having the three instruments, RBS has been added and is currently showing the bid and offer prices. Now you can create as many of these different favourites groups as you like. Uh, so you can create a watch list for uh, foreign exchange pairs, watch list for commodities, uh, watch list for US stocks, etc. So play around with the watch list groups or the favourites groups and you can create as many of these different layouts as you like. Alright, now what I want to show you is that these group price windows can be fully customised. So let's go back over to our UK sectors and have a look how we can go about doing that. 
So at the moment, it will probably come up with a bid, offer, and the last time that was updated. As you can see with this CFD UK sectors group price window, it's currently showing me the low, the bid, the offer, and the high price. All we need to do to change this is simply right click in the heading, and we can either hide that particular column, or we can add certain other elements to this group price window to give us a more complete picture as to what those instruments are doing. So for example, we can bring up the mid price, we can bring up the percentage change, we can bring up the open and low, and we can also bring up the time or expiry date if those are applicable. Well, what we might do is add on the mid price. So if we click on mid, it then brings up a column with all the mid prices of that instrument. Now, I like to have that in between my bid and offer price. So all I need to do is left click on the heading and drag that to the area that I want to show that information. Let's say for the time being we don't want to show the low and the high. We can right click on that, click on hide. And we're now left with just the bid, the mid and the offer price for all these UK sectors. If you wanted to see high to low, all you'd need to do is double click on the heading and then it will sort the column from the most expensive UK sector to the least expensive. Alright, so you can create as many of these group price windows, you can customise it to show you the information you want to see. So to take up less room on your workspace, it's certainly a handy way to bring up a lot of information in a very small space. Okay, well I hope that was of some use. If you've got any other questions with regards to Market Maker, please refer to the other webinars within this section. Okay, thank you very much for listening.